driving onto the main street called Rehov Achuza. Achuza was the original name of the group of people that settled in Ranana from the United States in the early 1920s. The original group was called Achuzat Bayit New York and they began to settle in Ranana and build Ranana from the 1920s to the present day. In 1981, Ranana became a city reaching about 40,000 in population. Today, seven years later, Ranana has a population of 50,000 with many of the populants coming from the United States, South Africa, England, and particularly in our community, a number of families from Scandinavia. We are going through the uh, new area, which is exclusively cottages on one side of the street and on the other side of street high-rise buildings. And uh, we are approaching the area where our building site is located. Traffic is light now, as it's almost Shabbat. But coming into Ranana on a, uh, on, a, on a weekday night, one can spend about 20 minutes just going across the main street due to the uh, amount of congestion in the city. We'll be dropping by the um, our present location at the Bnei Akiva building whose premises we've been using since the shul was formed about eight years ago. At that time the Bnei Akiva had a small room which, we, which they were able to allot for our minion after much pressure was put upon them and when they expanded we received a larger room to daven in. However the agreement with Bnei Akiva has been and is still today that we could use their building so long as we need on the condition that we build ourselves a shul. In any event, the Bnei Akiva premises were at most a temporary solution for our kiila, which has been growing constantly and started with about 10 families in 1980. We have grown to approximately 70 families today with much demand for increase. Friday afternoon now. Our shul is, has just been cleaned up by uh, two of our members. Four of our members. Four of our members, two of which are seen here now, coming out with their equipment. We don't have any uh, they clean now? cleaning staff. I'm not a member, I'm the janitor. <laughs> here we are at the Bnei Akiva um, Youth Center. This lot here is used by the Bnei Akiva kids for their activities on Shabbat, believe it or not. Look at the way the and children now, Look at this. On a dry look at the day, poor children in Renata. You can look, see what the these puddles people. have done to the uh, terrain oh, here. <laughs> the approach to our shul is generally full of mud on a rainy day. It's just keep track into the shul. And that's why we have to wash the floors every Friday before we start davening. Do you have a key? This is called adventurism. But these are the Bnei Akiva quarters. Rabbi Silver. This is where our Kiddush Hall is, outside. And Rabbi will take us up to the show. Susie Barrett is finally got into the picture here. Hi. You'll notice that it's clean and so It's clean? This is after a sweeping and cleaning, right? Decorated by uh, Bnei Akiva 
students, so the place is always decorative. As you can see. Come on, guys. Zeb Shalev has done a marvelous job on the cleanup today. I have never seen it so clean. Absolutely out of sight job here. Okay, now once you come up here, we have our benches for the mit palalim. Your feeding pleasure. And here, okay, we can go straight into the women's section, where we have front seats and back. We will try to bring you back so that you can see exactly what it looks like with people. But this is Erev Shabbat. Moving out. We're gonna have uh, our bench supply. We are having a bar mitzvah tomorrow. So we have to have the place extra clean. Okay, this is now set up for about 100 men to sit in the men's section. The tables have been taken out so we can get in another 10 or 15 seats due to the bar mitzvah. On our regular Shabbat, we have tables here and we have 100 seats, as I said, inside the shul and about 30 seats outside where the people who come after 8.30 have to find their seats. And this is it. This is the whole shul. We have how many active members, Ravi? We have 70 families now with about 15 to 20 families that would like to join as soon as we have uh, finalized our building plans and can accept them into the Kehillah as full-fledged members. At the moment, they've been accepted as members subject to our completing the building. Okay, let's go outside and see what's happening. Kids come and help out. Okay, just another quick scan. This is an empty lot next to the, our present premises. This is the Mizrahi Shul. And up there, that's exactly where we daven. With the downstairs being the Kiddush Hall. And this is the crew that actually helped clean up for Friday night. The place is nicely decorated and gives a special warm feeling. Bnei Akiva does all the decorations. And we're now going to move on to our future premises, approximately half a mile away from here. To the Merkaskli Tower, which is just one block away. Merkaskli Tower has been an early source of referrals to our shul. We've had many families who lived in Merkaz Kuta, came to our shul the first Shabbat they've been here. These are the Merkaz Kuta buildings. One of our principles has been to make the people coming to Merkaz Kuta feel at home from the beginning. And many of them have settled in Ra'anana. These are the Merkaz Kuta buildings. members actually live right around this area within five to ten minutes walking distance from the shore. The road is quite bumpy because we still haven't paved all the roads. And this is now the called Herzl that we're turning on to, which is the street where our lot is located. It took us about two years to get the lot from the city of Ranada. But the land has been allocated by the city for our use, for building a shul, at no cost to us. We just have to raise funds to build the shul itself. The building site is actually situated between this street, Rechav Herzl, 
and the street to the east of the street, Rechov Hashara. This is the driveway leading into the shul, so that we have a quiet location where the children coming out of the shul are not in any danger of traffic. Sign reads Merkaz Kihilati Lechun Ranana Ranana Baruch Hashem Tenuat Yisrael Hatzair Vahi Lahem Limikdash Maat Pasuk from Yechaskel Kan Yibane Birzot Hashem Beit Knesset Al Shem Reb Zalman Vachana Shalovitz Sheyichu Lekihilat Lechun Ranana Ranana Chanuka Tafshin Mem Chet This was put up at the groundbreaking ceremony for the shul, which took place on Hanukkah, uh, 19, uh, end of 1987. Mr. and Mrs. Shalovitz have been uh, kind enough to give us major support in building our shul. Uh, another source of uh, funds for the shul has been the members themselves, and a third source will be uh, funds that we raise from the outside. And a fourth source will be the uh, government offices such as the uh, Ministry of Religion. Let's go outside and let's look at the site. <laughs> this is the site of our show. Rabbi, you want to discuss when uh, things will start moving here? We have uh, negotiated with various builders and we are now in the final stages of preparation of a contract with a building contractor. After that time, we expect building construction can actually begin within uh, six weeks. So hopefully sometime during this spring, we will begin construction. The lot, this piece of land, is a quite a large piece. It's about one dunam, a thousand square meters. But we will be building an access, we will be paving an access to the shul uh, on the right side of the property, of uh, five meters wide, which will connect the street and the uh, Rechov HaSharon. And there'll be a path, a footpath right around the shul. So that we'll actually be building on the ground area of approximately 350 square meters. Uh, on the ground floor, as you will see in the plans, we have the main shul, the main synagogue, and the uh, a nice hall, entrance hall, and um, a bit midrash. Upstairs, the uh, ladies' section and the library. And downstairs in the basement, we have the cultural and social hall. Okay, we're gonna try to show you the uh, plans. Maybe it'll work out with the video and you'll get to see uh, exactly what we have planned here. Okay, Bobby gave, I think, a nice introduction to our old shul, our new shul, and hopefully things will work out with this. Um, now we're going to go and visit some members. Some know we're coming, some we're just gonna knock on the door and come unexpectedly. So in Erev Shabbat, so we're playing it by ear like that. Welcome to the Shriners! Come on, come on in, hi! I'm sleepy. That's okay. That's okay. Shut it off a second. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our home. And come see everybody, come see the family. There's Whoa, a, look who's Daniela, there. Danielle, you heard Donnie? <laughs> Danielle, you want to say hi? <laughs> yum, yum. Danielle, say hello. Hello. What's she called, Grandma? Uh, what she's going to say Nani hi and to? Saba. Nani and Saba. You want to say hi to them? Say hi to Nani and Saba. I can't see him, so... Uh... Well, your sister, maybe she has something to say. Here, you want to go say hi to your sister? Do you move closer? No. Come on in. Too close. Yeah. 
Rami, Rami. Rami. say hello. Go in with them. Go, parents. Go in with the children. Come, show sure they want to see you. Come on in. They saw me already. Oh, you know, what you know, you know what we're doing. Look, okay. We're taking a picture of you. Why? Because what, what do you? What do they call your parents? No. Okay, not because Nani and Saba are going to see you in this picture. Okay. You want to say anything to the folks back home? See you soon. Very soon, right? Just packing. Okay, we're getting everybody together. Yeah, you want to come too to the camera? Why? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say hi to Nani and Saba? Whoops. Baba Papa might come in. Maybe Baba Papa. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're there also. Oh, Let me get up the family picture here. <laughs> you want to go there in the camera? Okay, say hi to everybody. Okay, so we're gonna visit home. one family after the next so everybody gets say, a feeling. Talk to because it's your and welcome to the Atlases. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi, you know, you know what we're doing? This video camera, this picture is going to go to America. And you know who's going to see this? Your grandma and grandpa. So say hi to your grandma and grandpa. Saba and Safta? Your Saba and Safta. We just spoke to them. Oh, yeah? yeah? So say hi. You just woke up, right? Your nap? Come on in. OK. Ronit, say hello to Saba and Safta. And where's Debbie? He's in uh, the shower. Oh, wonderful. She's oh, going to boy. Talk to the shower. Yeah, Ariella, come here. Ariella? Okay, Ariella's going to come out in a few okay, minutes. Okay, do you have any messages? Um, this so, is your chance. Let's see. We hope everyone's out there in New York. We've sent plenty of letters so we know everyone is. And we hope um, everyone has a nice pass up. When's the meeting going to be? Before pass off? On the 24th, after pass off. Of pesos. March. Okay. Before pass off. So have a no, after pass off. After. After April, pesos. April, ah. April 24th. So. I hope everyone's had their Rafi Coleman. <laughs> um, and um, come visit. Right? Come visit, yes. We hope to see you all in the summer. And if not in the summer, then a little bit afterwards. And we hope you have a good time on the 24th. Great. Let's say hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. Bye-bye. We just woke up, so we're a little... Hi. Did you say hi to Saba and Safra? Somebody woke up a little bit on the cranky side, huh? You know what I mailed the letter today that you, drew, that you wrote today? And I'm sure they're going to be very happy to see you. Me. Oh, Nate, say hi. <laughs> cute. Okay. Do you know where Saba and Safra go to see this? Susie's mother's house. Now, remember that I'm not in your elf, Grandma? So that's where they're going to see this. You want to say anything special to them? Not even Shabbat Shalom? Not even Chak Sameh? And welcome to the office. Wait a minute, somebody's... I'm the doorman. <laughs> I'm just the doorman. <laughs> Leona! What is it, a watermelon? Let me know when you close it. Girls, yeah. come. You look so beautiful. Girls, Tommy, do me a favor. Ilana, <laughs> come on out. Hi. Hello. Look yeah, who's here. Show, you want to show them your dolly? Can you show them your dolly? No. You want to play with her a minute so that they'll uh, she'll show you. Dolly. Dolly. What's your dolly's name? Ariella? Does she have a name? Can you come out and say hello? No? Say hi to your grandma. Hi, grandma. <laughs> Go on, tell her what you're doing. Getting ready for Shabbat? Yeah. Blow grandma kiss. Your blow grandma kiss. 
How do we do Where's it? Where's Grandma? Like this? How do we do it? Go like this? Hmm? No. Like that? Hmm? Yeah? Come on down, Aria. Okay, what do you have to say? Your Hi. face. Hi, Goldsmith family. Hi, everybody. Where's the rest of the family? Hey, that's it. That's Come on out. <laughs> Come on out. Out. Everybody sit down. Okay. Funny afternoon. We don't what would, so what don't kind of messages would you like? I don't. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Dally. Oh, she's cute. Raggedy Ann, right? Raggedy Ann. And look at those earrings. Who bought you the earrings? Mommy? Okay, turn around. Mm -hmm. We want to say hello, right? Just say hi. Say Let's hi. see the earrings. Whoa! What beautiful what earrings. Do we know what is missing? Yeah, we know. We oh, know. okay. <laughs> Dally. Dally, right. Do you have a message? For Grandma? Well, Grandpa? Uh, we have to see them soon. Okay. Chag you prefer Pesach with them, don't you? Yeah. So why don't you tell them to come here? Yeah, I want, we want you to come. That's a good idea. Okay. Would you like to explain everybody in New York exactly what you're doing? Oh, no. no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We didn't dress for the occasion. I know. <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> this is the Young Renana League from the Chunil Renana Shul. And they're preparing, as you can see, special kids for Bedikat Chametz. This is an ongoing project <laughs> to get as much yes. money yeah, and resources in to build a show. They're planning to sell these a thousand sets by next week Pesach and hopefully show a nice profit that will go to the building fund of the show. The date shows March 23rd. What it doesn't show is that it is go again. This is about an hour later. Especially made kids. And everybody helps out. Everybody helps out. Oh, here, open another box here. Which is that one we need for them. No, look at her, she's all serious. They're all going out. Where was that garbage bag? Wrong way out. Put it down here. Your feet and everything. Okay, girls, are you finished with the thousand? <laughs> Two thousand. I got third thousand here. And <laughs> don't think we're playing poker, folks. Here we are, spoons still left, it's about an hour and a half later, some finished sets, and some new faces. I think we're going to have to be stamped. Same faces, just more tired. Same faces, more tired? Okay, but let's show you what's really happening here. They've also opened up a second production line here. Somebody's going to sleep. <laughs> this is the Yom, the day before Pesach. Uh, this is our morning minyan. The same rooms that you saw empty before. <clears throat> I mean, our usual morning minyan. It's obviously fewer people, but because it's Erev Pesach. This is what it looks like. We are now at the end. 
This will allow us to offer him to break the fast early. To get an idea, I just went outside and we're going back into the same show as before. This is the entrance. The decorations from Bnei Akiva do brighten up the place considerably. Mr. Chairs for Shabbat. And we're going right back in there. These are the latecomers. And now for the scene. Finishing the scene. Hi again. We're back. It's after Pesach. And hope you all had a nice Pesach. And we're continuing now videoing a few families. And this is the Gilbert house. And let's let's go say in. hello to the Gilberts. And let's go say hi to the Gilberts. It's also a Friday, so I have a feeling a lot of people are sleeping. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. And it's a surprise visit. And it is a surprise visit. Let's just say surprise. Hi. Okay, hello. say hello. Hello, my name is Amy. Uh, and what about you, Chaim? I love you very much. Oh, that's sweet. You want okay. to say something about school or gun? I like gun very much. Yeah, and what hug is coming up now? Your Matsma'ut. Right. You're going to go on a picnic? You're going to have a picnic? What are you going to do on your Matsma'ut? Then I go for a picnic. Great. And tell everybody what's on your shirt. In America, they don't know what that is. Who is it? Kippy. Kippy. Where is he from? He's from Rachof Sumsum. Rachof Sumsum. And tell me, you know what Rachof Sumsum in English is, right? What is that? In America, they call it Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. Right? Remember Sesame Street? Right? Okay, you want to say goodbye to Bobby and Zadie? Goodbye. And wish them, and wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Bye bye. Shabbat Shalom. That's what you want to say something? Say something. something how about was school today? School or how old you are. There are other people at the parlor meeting. How was Pesach? Okay. Hi, we're now at the British's house. Let's go say hi to all the Britishes. Three yes. out of the four children are here. Come, say no, hi. say hi. Hello. Hello. You want to introduce yourself? Hello. And I'm Sarah. Hi, Avi. We all miss you. And do a good job. Good pep talk for the shul. We all need all of you. Uh, have these people visited? Uh, yes. In yes. Banana. A lot have been in Banana. And some don't know anything about Banana. And some of them got an idea from the tape. From the tape, exactly. We're very proud of. Uh, of this uh, community. We love it here. We enjoy it here. We'd love to have a nice shawl. I'm sure you've seen in the pictures the uh, facilities we have now and they're somewhat lacking. This is Rachel. Um, we really would like to see the shawl be built as soon as possible. We're making a bar mitzvah in the near future and we'd like to see a, a, a site for the bar mitzvah. Right. Not just the old uh, Nancy right. show. Okay. Okay, you want to say bye bye? Wave bye bye. bye, -bye. A little intermission now. We wanted to show you the before and after effects. We showed at the beginning of this video a little of Ranana and especially Rafal Bachuza, which is our main street. And now we're a week before Yom Hatzma'ud and it's beautifully decorated as you can see and all very colorful and very pretty and it's a beautiful.
flowers, they planted flowers, and now as we're turning here, we can see the beautiful symbol they put up just in fact this morning. Is it representing the 40th year of Israel's anniversary? And next Thursday evening, there's going to be a whole big gathering out in the streets. will be closed. Hi, as you can see, we're now at my house, the Parrot's house. Soft, soft. And everyone's going to introduce themselves, say hi. This is... No, come on, we're on video. Anat. What's your name? And, and this one can't say her name yet. You want to say her name? Her name is Tamar. And Susan, Mutti. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Oh. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. Maybe Linda and Hill over there. And Nadine and Marty. I don't know who's there. Who we know. We say hi. Oh. Yes, even Tamar said hi. <laughs> yeah, you don't know really Tamar, right? Say hi. Give a nice smile. Look how big she got. Look at that. We're a big girl. We'll hold you up. Yeah, say hi. This is our little booba, right? The mountain in Italy? Uh, t tell Grandma and Grandpa what you're doing in school, in Ghan. I told them what you're doing. You told them in the letters? <laughs> you, what did you say? So say something about, I don't know, your heart's mood coming up. Well, turn, at least at least if you don't want to say something, look at them. Say hi, say something. Ellie, do you want to say something? No? Anyway, we thank you very much for all your efforts and all your help. And we hope that this meeting will be successful and always, even if it's a nice day. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi Mom hi. and Dad. Yeah. Well, let's introduce the other people right. at the meeting, and they don't right. know who you are. This is Ariel and Yaakov and Nava and Mary and Louis Alster. And we want to say hi to our parents, to Mom and to Aunt Dana, and to Mom and Daddy, and if Uncle Henry's there, too. <laughs> yeah, we hope you're having a good time at the party. I'm sure it's lovely, and uh, we miss you very much and hope you come to visit us real soon. Mm -hmm. Kids, you want to say something? Want to this is your chance. What mom said? No. Just no. say hello. Just say hi. Just say hi to Bobby and Adela. All right, we're a little maybe shy or yeah. something, but we say hi. hi. That's it. That's it. Come on, say hi, fellas. Hi. <laughs> hello. This is the Silver family. And I hope what's him in Ra'anana. Very proud to talk to you. People meeting in New York trying to help us out. Uh, this is my family, Robert, Shmuel, Aviva, and Bitsalel. We are the family of Rhoda and Jack Burnham, who are sitting with you now. And I'd like to first thank Molly for having the meeting. We're very happy to have you on our side. And um, we thank you, Tommy and Susie, for taking this nice meeting. Maybe the kids want to say hi. You want to say so, hi, Grandma, Grandpa, and the movie? Say hi. Hi. Yeah, they just saw them. They were here for Pesach, so we had a lot of nice times together. But Salo. I miss you already. Uh, yeah. Salo. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a good time. He doesn't know what's going on. Uh, Viva, what do you have to say to everybody in New York? Happy Yom Atzmaut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what okay. Hi again. I spoke to you at the beginning of this film, and now I understand that this is the last uh, filming. Since then, we've had some very uh, important news after, I would say, almost two years of work and a lot of effort that's gone into the uh, planning stage before the building. We are happy to tell you that we have, just this past Sunday, received our building permit. I don't know if you can get it here in the film, but we just have it here to show you. This is the Heter Benia, and now we can actually get down to uh, the construction. We have just about completed the contract with our builder, who has promised that within the next three weeks, we will actually begin construction. <laughs> I'd like just to uh, wish you all a, uh, a pleasant Yom Atzmahad, and we really thank you all for coming to this parlor meeting, and for all the support that you've given us so far,
for all the support that you will be giving us in the future. I'd like to uh, apologize to any families who are watching the film that don't see their children here in Israel. Uh, it's been difficult to catch all the families at home on Friday afternoons, which is the only time that we've had to go out to film. And we hope that we'll be able to send you a follow-up film uh, with more activities in Ranana. Once again, now that we are beginning the actual building, we, uh, we need the support as quickly as possible. And we would like to keep you updated on all progress uh, of the building as it proceeds. We'd like to thank particularly Dr. Tommy Tischler, who really made a tremendous effort in preparing this film, and Susie Peretz, who has been the editor-in-chief of, uh, of this film. Thanks a lot. Be well. And see you soon in Israel. Right. Okay.